Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Yungra Lahiwe. If you are new here, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell so that you are notified every time I upload a new content. And welcome to our YouTube channel. Um, to the returning subscribers, thank you very much for coming back to show your support. May the living God continue to bless you and protect you. So from the title of today's video, we are unfolding or talking about having no regrets about having no regrets because honestly this is something that uh, is very common to the human race um you know a lot of us make mistakes and then after that we regret of why did we do this why did that happen and stuff and stuff and stuff right so my first point is regret serves as as um, a form of distraction or is a form of uh, distraction you know it distracts you from focusing on the more positive aspects of a certain situation or a certain problem that you have or something or a certain mistake that you did you know because you are sitting there wondering why did I do that I could have done it better or if I done it, uh, if I done it this way things would have turned out you know better Wasting 30-40 minutes of your time thinking of what happened instead of focusing on what should happen. You understand? And being in that um, regret zone and regret mode, you are not focusing on the important aspects, the positive aspects of your life of, of, of a specific problem or specific situation that you were in, you know, in causing you to have that regret, you know. And you're just focusing on the negative aspects of what happened and you're wasting this 30-40 minutes of your time another thing is uh, my previous video that I uploaded was about allowing God to to intervene in our problems and to take over and that is what we should practice that is what we should you know that's how we should live our lives every day because we don't just go through these problems we should Go through them, grow through them, and learn through them. You understand? If you make a mistake today, you have to learn on them. You understand? Because if you had not made that mistake, that certain mistake, you would not be where you are today. You understand? Why? Because you learn from the mistake. You know that, uh uh, I'm not going to do that. Why? Because a night, this might happen. You understand? And then you learn with Ali. I'm not going to do that again and you don't do it and then you move on so we should not have regrets let us not practice that regret spirit because it's it delays us from our destination as well and we should learn to find our strength and our weakness in the midst of our problems instead of focusing on regret we should learn to find ourselves in the midst of this problem of this situation what do I mean by that? I mean by finding your strength, your weaknesses, and you know the part where you are strong in finding is like how do you take insults, how do you handle uh, uh, bad news, good news, heartbreaks, and all these things. How do you take these things? You understand? So you should find yourself in the midst of this problem and see if I'm strong here and I'm weak here. I'm focus on what I'm strong in and what I'm good at. Then you take that piece and you grow it and you try to nurture it into you know until it matures the other thing is um, um where is those notes yes instead of trying to go th uh, to get out of the situation we should try to go through it because like i said if it had not been for that certain because for me i'm a big believer of Things happen for a reason. So if something in my life happens for a reason, I mean happens, I know that it's for a reason. Because I'm a believer, I'm a Christian. So I know it's for a reason. So instead of trying to go, to get out of a problem, you should try to go through it. Right? Because if, if you don't go through it, then you will not learn. You know the saying that says someone who does not make mistakes and basically never learns. 
because where everything is just being handed to you on a silver platter like this, you get everything easily, easily, easily. You understand? But now for some people, some people have to fight for what they have. Some people have to do things that you are not even wouldn't want to mention. You understand? Well, Ali, when you are sitting there and just thinking of what you did and you wish you had done it better and everything and everything, no. If you had not done that, you would not be where you are today. It is because of our past and because of our uh, mistakes that we are where we are today. And because our past determines our future. What you do in the past determines your future. Are you going to be who you were yesterday? That's, you know, that's just the reality. So we should focus on finding ourselves. That's the main key today. Find yourself instead of focusing on all your, your, your the problems and regretting. Regrets for what? Let us learn to find ourselves and instead of sitting there and thinking of why did you do this and all that, try to sit down and say, and think of a content idea, think of a business idea, think of your long-term goals, where you want to see yourself in the next 10 years from now. Dream, pray. You know, there's a lot of things that, uh, that you, you can do instead of just sitting and thinking of what has happened. Those things are in the past, right? So I think that's the little message that I have that I prepared for you guys today because I don't have any regret, guys. Our mistakes, our past made us. And we should learn to embrace them. You understand? So thank you very much for watching. If you have not subscribed yet, please do subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified. And um do like, share if you feel like everybody, anybody should share this message with friends and family. And do comment anything you would like for me to discuss in my next video. Thank you very much.